Hello everyone and welcome back to the WCG for day two of the first Harley Cranes test match between Brendan's 11 and Matt's 11. 21 wickets falling on a pulsating opening day's play as both sides were bowled out for one of their lowest totals in team history in the first innings. Here as you can see on your screens now, Match 11 rolled for 39 in their first innings and you'd be forgiven for thinking that their test match was already done but a spirited fight back with the ball and some ordinary Blues batting saw them get themselves back into the contest rolling the men in blue for just 28 in their first innings and the Green Machine would finish at 1 for 9 in their second innings at the close of play with an overall lead of 20 runs as we move into a massive second day of the test match. So it will be Harry Dean who will resume here on day two, eight not out for the Green Machine. Survived a tricky period before the close of play after Arnold was dismissed for another low score in the test match. Can he get the Green Machine off to a good start here? So match 11 with an overall lead of 20 runs. This is gonna be the youngster Costa Savas to bowl the first over of day two. Here he's in now and he begins with a short delivery and Harry Dean hammers this to the boundary for a maximum first up. Well how about that for the first ball of day two? That's a signal of intent if ever I've seen one. It's a loosener and it's punished. Savas to continue in the opening over of day two. Here he's in now, this one's a better delivery. It's a back of a length delivery. And Dean is on the back foot and plays that to bowling on the offside for no run. So it's another blockbuster start to the day's play. As Savas will continue to Dean over the wicket. Here he's in now, this one's wider outside the off stump. And Dean shoulders arms and lets this one go. So Harry Dean has moved along to 14 not out and has looked pretty solid for the four or so overs he has been at the wicket so far in this innings. As Savas will continue to him now in the opening over of the day's play. He's in now and this one's another back of a length delivery which pitches outside the line of leg stump and that's why Harry Dean was happy to let this hit him in the leg. So Mats 11 1 for 15 in their second innings. An overall lead of 26 runs. As Savas is in once again to Dean and this one's another back of a length delivery which Harry Dean is happy to let hit him in the leg. Be very watchful to begin with here is a left-hander. So Savas is in for the final ball of the opening over of day two. Here he's in now to Dean, and this one's another short delivery, and it's another one hammered through the leg side, this time for a boundary. It's the perfect start to the day for the Green Machine. 10 coming off the opening over of the day's play. Match 11, one for 19 after five. Gavin Merrifield to bowl his first delivery here on day two. As he's in now around the wicket to Dean, he begins with a back of a length delivery. And this one slides down the leg side, which appeared to be a genuine loosener. So Dean now has the highest score of the test match so far, as he's moved along to 18 not out. He's looking good here for the green machine, as Merrifield is in once again to Dean. It's a full delivery driven back down the ground. And Merrifield cannot field of his own bowling, as it ricochets off his body and goes to the boundary. Green Machine on top here early on day two. Merrifield to continue around the wicket to Dean in the sixth over of the innings. Here he's in now, this one's a better delivery, bang on the money, and Dean is forward and defends on the onside for no run. So Dean looking very solid to begin this second day's play. He's raced along to 22, finding the boundary three times already here on this second day's play. As Merrifield is in once again to Dean, and this one's a good delivery, a full delivery, bang on the money which Harry Dean defends to end with. It's the youngster Riley Corn for a full bowl, the seventh over of the innings. Here is in now to Dean, he begins with a good delivery, bang on the money, and Dean is comfortably back and defends on the offside for no run. So looking very solid here is Harry Dean. Could this be the innings which kicks off his test career? As this one's a full swinging delivery here from Riley Cornforth, and it has been given a wide. So another one added to the tally here. Match 11 now lead by 34 runs with just the one wicket lost here in their second innings. As Cornforth is in once again to Dean, this one's a better delivery, as Dean is back and solid in defence once again. So what a turnaround this has been from the Green Machine, who looked dead and buried yesterday morning, as this one's a full delivery from Riley Cornforth, which slides down the leg side for no run. They've gone from bowled out for 39 to a lead of 34 runs in the space of two or so sessions. It's been a remarkable turnaround. As Cornforth is in once again to Dean and this one slides down the leg side once again for a dot ball. So Dean has been brilliant here in the opening overs here on day two. As Cornforth continues again now to Dean and he's solid once again back and across as he keeps this one out from the youngster. 
So just the one delivery left to negotiate here in this corn fourth over. The Green Machine one for 24 in their second innings. As this one's a good delivery to end with from corn fourth. And Dean Shoulders arms. One for 24. It'll be another youngster, Daniel Hancock, to buy the eighth over of the innings. Here he's in now to Dean, and this one zoots low. And Dean is back and defends well as he watches it closely onto the bat. Yeah, that's the first real signs of the pitch misbehaving. So perhaps that's an indication of things to come for the remainder of the test match. As Hancock is in once again to Dean, and this one's a quick delivery, but it slides down the leg side, and Dean leaves it alone. Harry Dean looks on here to begin the second day's play. The left-hander has raced along to 22. As Hancock will continue again now to Dean, and this one's a good length delivery, and Dean pushes it on the leg side to Cornforth for no run. Here the pitch looks to have definitely flattened out from day one. Here it should make for easier batting conditions, as Dean is making it look right now, as Hancock is in once again to Dean, and this one's another one that slides down the leg side. And Dean, for a moment, thought about playing it, but then thought better of it. Here the Green Machine in a pretty handy position at one for 24. An overall lead of 35 runs. As Hancock is in once again to Dean. This one's a short delivery. It's pulled away on the leg side. Oh, and it's hit Riley Cornforth. And he hasn't been able to stop it as it ricochets into the boundary. It's another boundary for Harry Dean this morning. He's now raced along to 26. And yeah, that's unlucky for the youngster as it backspins into the boundary. The lead is now 40 for the Green Machine. As Tom Doyle by the 10th over of the innings. As he's in now to Harry Dean and he's bang on the money first up. And Dean is confidently forward and defends on the offside for no run. So with Dean looking very settled at the crease this morning, this is an excellent position here for match 11. As Doyle is in once again to Dean and this one slides down the leg side and Dean was having none of it. Tom Doyle who bowled beautifully in the first innings picking up three wickets. Looking for a fourth of the match. Here he's in now to Dean. This one's a floated delivery and it's a beautiful cover drive from Harry Dean who pierces the gap on the offside. Dean is on fire this morning as he races along to 30. Match 11, one for 33, a lead of 44. Doyle to continue to Dean in the 10th over of the innings. Here he's in now around the wicket and this one's a wayward delivery, it slides way down the leg side and that has been called a wide. So the wheels haven't quite fallen off but they haven't got turning so far here on day two for the men in blue. As Doyle will continue again now to Dean, and this one's another one that slides down the leg side, and Dean leaves it alone. Match 11 now with a lead of 45 runs, with just one second innings wicket lost so far, so they are in a very handy position as it stands. As Doyle's in once again to Dean, and Dean plays this on the offside to Henry Perinara at cover for no run. So just the one delivery left in this Doyle over, the final ball of the opening cycle, He's in now around the wicket here to Dean. And this one's a full toss and it's played towards the blue skipper down at mid-on, who fields well. Match 11, one for 34 after 10. So match 11 have been fantastic so far this morning and have moved themselves into a pretty favourable position in this test match, thanks largely to Harry Dean, who is 30 not out. Match 11, one for 34 in their second innings, an overall lead of 45 runs, and they've got nine wickets in the shed. And the men in blue are in desperate need of a wicket. So it's going to be the blue skipper, Brendan Scott, to bowl the 11th over of the innings. As he's in now around the wicket here to Dean. And this one's a good length delivery. And Dean is confidently back and across and defends on the offside for no run. Here, this is a big few overs in the context of the match. With Brendan's 11 desperately needing a wicket. Here he's in now. This one's a full delivery. And Dean drives his back down the ground, and it gets past Scott, who can't field of his own bowling. It's another boundary to Harry Dean. Dean now moves along to 34, and he's absolutely flying. The lead now one shy of 50, as Scott is in once again to Dean. This one's a good delivery, which hits Dean on the thigh by the looks of it, and goes through to the keeper. So there was a slight appeal there from the men in blue, but only half-heartedly, as I think they knew it hit the thigh. Here's Scott will continue around the wicket to Dean in the 11th over. Here he's in now, this one's a full delivery, and I think this hits Harry Dean on the knee, and flies away onto the onside for no run. Good busy fielding there from Josh Bowling, who is the only man on the leg side. Here's Scott will continue around the wicket here to Dean. Here's in now, this one's a full delivery, and that's the one they wanted. Scott goes right through Harry Dean. That is a massive wicket here for the men in blue, who desperately needed that. 
It's got persistence with the Tate tennis ball, swinging it back through the gate has paid off. Harry Dean goes for a well-made 34. He, he just misjudged the line, he's got a faint inside edge. It was actually a full toss, he'd be disappointed he didn't get that away. But a good innings comes to an end, and the Blues desperately needed that. So the Green Machine, two for 38 in their second innings. An overall lead of 49 runs. As that wicket now brings the skipper, Matt White, to the crease. Was dismissed for four in his side's first innings. Can he stand up with the bat now and push this lead ever higher for the men in green? His first up, he'll have to face his opposition skipper. And this one's another hooping delivery, and Scott walks off in disbelief. Well, I wonder if this was close to the leg stump. Oh, it was over anyway. Carrying on. It's Justin Brook who will bowl the 13th over of the innings. Here he's in now, around the wicket here to Matt White. Here he's in now, and this one's a good delivery. Oh, and this one nearly sneaks through to defences. But White gets a thick inside edge onto his leg and does enough to keep this out. So he's under the pump here is the skipper. Has not made over 20 in his last seven digs in test cricket. Here is Brook, is in once again, and this one's a quick delivery, but it slides down the leg side, and it'll be another dot. So a pretty good time for the skipper to come to the crease, with his side in a pretty reasonable position. As Brook is in once again to White, and White is confidently forward and defends on the onside for no run. Yeah, good battle this. White knows if he can just see out these frontline Brennan's 11 bowlers, it'll get a little bit easy for him as he moves forward. Here is Brook is in once again to White, and this one's a back of length delivery, and it's a good transfer of weight there from White. He plays this on the offside for no run. Here it's been the hallmark of the match 11 batsmen so far in this innings. They've just taken their time and gotten themselves into their innings. As Brook is in once again to White, and this one's a good delivery, which sneaks through and hits White in the gut. So that's a good way to end what's been a pretty good over here from Justin Brook. A maiden over, the second one in consecutive overs, 2 for 38. It'll now be Josh Bowling's bowl, his second over of the innings. Here he comes in around the wicket here to White. He's in there, this one's a full delivery. Oh, it leaps up at White, and I think this hits him near the chest. Yeah, that's a good start from Bowling, who gave that a bit of flight. Yeah, that's a good start from Bowling, who was particularly expensive in his opening over. And that's 11, 2 for 38, an overall lead of 49 runs. As Bowling is in once again to White, and this one's a short delivery. And it's been played away on the leg side there from White, but he can't beat Riley Cornforth at mid-wicket. So a missed opportunity there from White to get off the mark. As Bowling will continue again now to White, and that's a good delivery. It takes a bit of pop off the surface, and White does well in defence to keep it down. Yeah, there's no one around the bat here for the men in blue. As Bowling will bowl again now to White, and this one's another delivery which pops up off the surface and hits White on the chest by the looks of things. Yeah, it's a slow popping delivery, and White just fronts up. So an interesting over so far by the left-handed spinner here for the Blues. You wonder if they'll be tempted to get someone under the bat. They've resisted that for now. As Bowling will continue again now to White. And this one's a full deliverance. Played away on the offside. But once again, it doesn't have the beating there of Henry Perinara, who feels brilliantly there at mid-off. So Bowling is in for the final ball of the 15th over. Here he's in now. And this one's a skidding delivery. And there's a massive appeal here from the Blues. And it's been given not out, and Bolling can't believe it. Here, we'll have a look at the replay. No, it looks like it's just come off the outside of his leg. Looks another good decision from the umpire. It'll be Riley Cornforth to bowl the 16th over of the innings. As in now, randomly get here to White. It's a play and a miss first up. It's a good full delivery there from the youngster, which has the beating of the Green Machine skipper. The Green Machine, 2 for 38 in their second innings. An overall lead of 49 runs. As Cornforth is in once again to White, and it's a good delivery, bang on the money, and White is solid in defence. Still yet to get off the mark here in his second innings here is White. But White knows he's got plenty of time remaining in this test match. As Cornforth is in once again to the Green Machine skipper, and that's well watched there from White, who makes a late decision to leave that one alone. There's a slight appeal from Bowling there at cover, but I think White signals that he hit his leg with his bat. So the Green Machine in a fantastic position in this test match. As Cornforth is in once again to White, and it's a full delivery, and White plays that down the ground to Perinara for no run. So this has been a good over so far from the youngster, who is asking plenty of questions here from the Green Machine skipper, as this one's a shorter delivery, and it's played down the ground, but once again, it does not have the beating of Henry Perinara. 
So we arrive at the final delivery of the 16th over. It's Cornforth into White. He's knocked him over. That's a big wicket here for the men in blue. It's a brilliant way to end what's been a brilliant over here from the youngster. He gets the big wicket of the Green Machine skipper, whose poor run with the bat continues. He goes for a duck in his second innings. The Green Machine now 3 for 38. Still with an overall lead of 49 runs. But the Blues are fighting their way back into this contest. White disappointed. The Blues rejoice. So the Green Machine 3 for 38. And that wicket now brings Joel Wojcik to the crease here at number 4. It was dismissed for a duck in the first innings. And how the men in blue will be hoping that history can repeat itself here. So it's going to be Gavin Merrifield to bowl around the wicket for the 17th over of the innings. Here is in now to Wojcik and this one's a back of a leg delivery. And it's a confident stroke first up from Wojcik who plays out to Perinara for no run. Here the wind just appears to have picked up here at the WCG. As Merrifield is in once again here to Wojcik. And this one's a full delivery which sways down the leg side. So this is a big period of the test match now. If the Blues can go bang bang they'll feel like they've wrestled back control of this test match. With Dean White and Wojcik back in the sheds. As Merrifield is in once again to Wojcik and this one's a full delivery. Played on the leg side to Cornforth for no run. However on the flip side if Wojcik can get away and post a decent score here. Then the Green Machine will feel well on top with wickets in hand. As this one's played away on the offside from Wojcik. It's a beautiful way to get off the mark. It's a trademark back foot punch from the Mercura right hander. As he picks the gap beautifully. 3 for 42. It'll be Tom Doy to bowl the 18th over of the innings. As he's in now round the wicket here to Wojcik. And this one's a full delivery and he punches this down the ground. But shock horror, Perinara is there to field once again. So the match 11 lead has ticked above 50. 53 is the exact lead now. As Doy is in once again to Wojcik. And this one's played on the offside. And it's fielded there by Peter Fowler for no run. The Green Machine 3 for 42 in their second innings. An overall lead of 53 runs. How they would love to see the back of him will the man in blue. As this one's left alone outside the off stump from Wojcik. It's quite amazing to think that this time yesterday, they were in dire straits early in their first innings. Now I think it's fair to say that they have the ascendancy in this contest. Although a couple of wickets may change that for the men in blue. As Doy is in once again to Wojcik and it's a short delivery and he's pierced the gap here on the onside for another boundary. Well that's a horrible delivery you have to say there from Doy. And Wojcik dispatches it. It's Peter Fowler who will bowl the 19th over of the innings. As in now round the wicket here to Wojcik and he begins with a good delivery bang on the money. And Wojcik defends on the onside for no run. You know Daniel Hancock for the men in blues who is off the field injured. We believe it's an Achilles problem as this one's a full delivery. And it's played towards Perinara on the offside. Now was this a drop catch? Well Perinara has rose to his feet disappointed. I wonder if he's got his fingers under this. No, I think it might just be short. Unlucky there for the Blues. Well, a Novi moment there for Wojcik. As Fowler will continue to him now around the wicket. He's in now. This one's a full delivery. But this one swings down the leg side as Wojcik leaves it alone. So a good start here to his innings here from Wojcik, who is eight not out. The Green Machine, three for 46. An overall lead of 57 runs. As Fowler's in once again to Wojcik. And this one's a full delivery. He's played down the ground. It's another boundary here for Wojcik. The momentum swinging back towards the Green Machine's favour. It's a full delivery. And it's a beautiful strike there from Wojcik. Who moves to 12. The lead 61. It's going to be Henry Perinara who bowled the 21st over of the innings. Here he begins with a full delivery. And it's driven down the ground there by Wojcik. But it's well fielded there by the blue skipper. Green Machine 3 for 51 in their second innings. An overall lead of 62 runs. Here's Perinara will continue again now to Wojcik. And this one's a short delivery, which sways down the leg side. So the Green Machine, you'd have to say, are on top here in this test match. They score 3 for 52. An overall lead of 63 runs. With 7 second innings wickets still in the shed. So they're in a very handy position. Here's Perinara decides to put another one on the offside. It's a 3-1 field. As Perinara is in now to Wojcik and it's a full delivery wide outside the off stump. And Wojcik avoids taking the bait. So things not exactly getting desperate here for the men in blue. But they would love to see the back of Wojcik sooner rather than later. 
and start to get into this Green Machine middle order. As Perinara is in once again to Wojcik, and this one's a horrible delivery outside the off stump, and this one is called a wide. So another one added to the lead there for the men in green. The lead now 63 runs. As Perinara will continue to Wojcik in the 21st over. He serves up a full toss and it's hammered through the offside for another boundary for Wojcik. He moves to 16. The green machine three for 56. An overall lead of 67. It'll be the vice skipper Justin Brook to bowl the 22nd over of the innings. As you now round the wicket here to Wojcik and it's a good fast delivery. But Wojcik is solid and forward confidently in defence. Looking good here is Joel who on his return to the WCG last year had a test series to remember with the bat. As Brook is in once again and that is about as good as it gets. That is a textbook cover drive for Wojcik who moves to 20. And the alarm bell starting to ring here for the man in blue. So the Blues in desperate need of a wicket here. As Brook will continue around the wicket here to Wojcik. And this one's a good delivery. But Wojcik is solid in defence once again. Well, it looks like this surface has well and truly flattened out here. So all is not lost for the men in blue who will have to chase a target. Here is Brook is in once again to Wojcik on. He's beaten him outside the off stump with an absolute beauty. That's better here from the Blues vice skipper. Oh, that's just left Wojcik slightly. It's a beauty. So Brook to continue to Wojcik in the 22nd over. Oh, and it's an identical delivery. And it's an identical result as it flashes past the outside edge of Wojcik's bat. Scott cannot believe it. Oh, he nearly got caught fishing there. It'll be the youngster Costa Savas by the 23rd over of the innings. Here's in now to Wojcik. This one's a back of a length delivery outside the off stump. And it rises on Wojcik as he lets this one go outside the off stump. So brilliant this from Wojcik who was 20 not out. The Green Machine now with an overall lead of 71 runs. Here is Costa Savas will continue again now to Wojcik. He's in now and this one's a fuller delivery. But this one slides down the leg side as Wojcik leaves it alone. So the men in green in a strong position here in this test match. With seven second innings wickets still in the shed. Here is Savas will continue over the wicket here to Wojcik. This one's a short deliverance. Played away on the offside. And it beats Riley Cornforth there at extra cover for another boundary. Wojcik goes to 24. And they are flying the green machine. The lead now 75. Costa Savas to continue to Wojcik in the 23rd over. Here is in now. This one's a fuller delivery wide outside the off stump. And it entices Wojcik into a lazy stroke. But thankfully from his point of view, there's no edge. So another close but no cigar moment for the men in blue. And Scott must be getting worried that this lead ticks ever higher. Here is Sabas is in once again to Wojcik and it's a back of a length delivery. And Wojcik is back and defends well on the onside for no run. The lead now stands at 75 runs. With the score at 3 for 64 in this second innings here for the Green Machine. Wojcik 24 not out. And Sabas is in once again to Wojcik, and this one's played on the offside, but it's well fielded there by Riley Cornforth, who stops a certain boundary. Here, Wojcik looking very comfortable at the crease. That's a good stop from the youngster. Here, it's going to be Josh Bowling, who will bowl the 24th over of the innings. As you now round the wicket here to Wojcik, and he begins with a good delivery, bang on the money, and Wojcik is forward and defends well on the offside for no run. So, Wojcik looking very sound at the crease so far. Here is Bowling's in once again to Wojcik now and it's another full delivery and it's hammered down the ground for another boundary. Wojcik on fire here at the WCG as he moves to 28. Not the greatest of deliveries there from Bowling and it's punished. The lead now 79 runs as Bowling will continue again now to Wojcik and this one's another one that pops off the surface and I think this hits Wojcik on the shoulder but there's no danger as there's no one around the bat. So a good reply there from Bolling. Here is he continue to Wojcik again. And this one's a shorter delivery. And it's enough time for Wojcik just to rock back and play it down the pitch for no run. So Matt's 11 in firm control of the test match as things stand. As Bolling will continue again now to Wojcik. Yeah, and this one's a shorter delivery. It's hammered away on the leg side. But it's been brilliantly stopped there from the youngster Costa Savas at mid-wicket. Who saves a certain boundary. He's dropped this one short. Oh, it's a, well, you can't really call it a drop catch. He's actually saved six. Matt's 11, three for 68. 
As Riley Cornforth will bowl the 25th over of the innings. Here he's in now, it's a four delivery and he's got through Wojcik. That's the wicket they needed. It's brilliant from the youngster who gets another one. He knocked over the green machine skipper with a similar delivery. And now he gets the big wicket of Wojcik as he swings his one back through the gate. And Wojcik goes for 28. The green machine four for 68. So with the lead at 79 runs, that wicket now brings Michael Johnson to the crease at number five. He's coming off a second ball duck in the first innings. So the men in blue will be hoping they can go bang bang. So it'll be Riley Cornforth looking for his third wicket. Into Michael Johnson for his first delivery and he's bang on the money. And Johnson is solid and plays his back down the pitch for no run. So another big period of the test match. Can Brennan's 11 go bang bang and swing the momentum back in their favour? Here's this one's a full toss from Cornforth and it's played away on the leg side as it spins off the fence. And that's a good bit of fielding from the youngster, Costa Sabas, who gets his big frame down well. So Cornforth who's bowled fantastically well in this second innings to continue. Here's this one's a good delivery again, and it's played away on the leg side onto the fence. And once again, Costa Sabas is there to field for no run. Here's the Blues can just build a little bit of pressure here on Johnson. He is known to have a rush stroke in him. As Cornforth is in for the final delivery of the over. Well, there's nothing rash about that, as Johnson hammers this on the offside for a maximum. But what a way to get off the mark. It's not the greatest delivery there from Cornforth, and it is hammered. It'll be Gavin Merrifield to bowl the 26th over of the innings. As he now ran the wicket here to Johnson. And this one's a back of a length delivery. It's played down the ground. And it's well fielded there by Merrifield of his own bowling, who stops a certain boundary. So it's an aggressive start to his innings here from Johnson. Yeah, the lead now stands at 85 runs. Merrifield is into Johnson once again, and this one's a full delivery, and he can't field of his own bowling this time, as it trickles into the boundary. Johnson races to 10, and the lead now moves along to 89. Four for 78. So brilliant signs this here for the Green Machine, as Johnson starts in a hurry, as Merrifield is in once again, and this is a good bit of cricket here from Johnson, who just drops this on the leg side, and moves through for a single. Yeah, this is Johnson at his best. Can bludgeon you down the ground and then pick the bad ball off for a single. Here's Merrifield will continue again now to Johnson. And it's another smart bit of cricket there from Johnson who plays with an open face on the offside and moves through for another single. So just like that, he races to 12. And the lead now stands at 91 here for the Green Machine. They are in a fantastic position in this test match after things look so grim early on. As this one's a full delivery and it's played uppishly. And I think this has bounced off two players, but it has gone to ground. Well, nothing seems to be going the Blues' way. Here's we have a look. It's initially dropped by Gavin Merrifield. And then Paranara, who's usually so good with his hands, can't gather. Well, the gods seem to be smiling down on the green machine as things stand. As it be Tom Doy, the ball, the 28th over of the innings. He begins with a full delivery, and he's got him. Has he? Yeah, he's nicked off. Well, he gets Johnson twice in the test match. And that's another big moment here for the men in blue. Just as Johnson looked to be getting going, it's a good delivery there from Doy, who catches the outside edge. And it's five down. And the Green Machine, five for 81. An overall lead of 92 runs. As that wicket now brings Ryan Schaefer to the crease here for the Green Machine. He too is coming off a duck in his first innings. What can he do now with the bat? Here's your face up to Tom Doy, first up, oh that's what he can do with the bat. Not a bad way to get off the mark here from Schaefer, as he hammers this through mid-wicket for a maximum first up. Well in trademark aggressive fashion, Schaefer pushes the lead to within two of a hundred. So Doy to continue to Schaefer. Yeah, and this one's another short delivery, and this one's hammered to the boundary again. Well ten of two deliveries here for Schaefer to begin with. Never mind that this probably is the last over before lunch. He has come out in aggressive mood and pushes the lead beyond 100. Matt's 11 now, 5 for 91 in their second innings. Here is Doys in once again to Schaefer, and this one's played back down the pitch. But it's well fielded there by the big man off his own bowling for no run. So the lead now in excess of 100, and history says that this is going to be a very difficult chase for the men in blue. As Doy is in once again to Schaefer. This one's a full delivery and it's picked off his toes brilliantly through the mid-wicket gap for another boundary. Schaefer races to 14 
and the green machine are flying once again. So we arrive at the final delivery of the opening session here on day two. A session dominated by the green machine. Here is Doi is in around the wicket to Schaefer. And this one's a full delivery outside the off stump, which Schaefer leaves alone. So although the men in blue are able to pick up four wickets here in this morning session, the Green Machine managed to hammer 86 runs to put themselves in a fantastic position in this test match and now have an overall lead of 106 runs with five second inning wickets remaining. Wickets now the order of the day for the men in blue when we return. Well, they will be staring down the barrel of a huge run chase. We'll see you for the afternoon session shortly.